This video is rated 18, suitable only for persons of 18 and over. Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, as you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail, this is my review of The Mad Magician in 3D Blu-ray. Now, so as I said in my unboxing of this, the case itself, like the sleeve, it, there is nowhere on this sleeve that indicates it has a 3D disc, and that's because it doesn't actually have a 3D disc. Uh, the 3D option is on the disc for the 2D uh, release. Which normally would bug me because if it's a 3D release it should have that. But to be honest when I talk about what this Blu-ray consists of. Um, you understand why it doesn't bother me so much. So. If you haven't seen the unboxing of this I will link that in the description below. Just a little bit of the story. So the story is about uh, a magician. Or a man who, who wants to be recognised as a magician called uh, Donald uh, Gallico. And he invents illusions and creations that other magicians use for their, for their acts. And he wants to just be known for not only his inventions, but he wants to be known for the talents he has as a magician. And just to end my little description of the story, there's someone that he works with, a partner, ends up screwing him over. That's all I'm going to leave it as, because I don't want to tell you too much of the story in case you want to see this film for yourself. This is a Vincent Price movie. Uh, I think this was 1950, 1954. Uh, so yeah, 1954 film. Um, this was a year after House of Wax, which yet again, if you guys know, I've talked about. Freaking excellent 3D film. So let's go into um, presentation. As we know, I talk about my depth and my pop out and my letterbox or my full frame and stuff like that. So this is a full frame presentation which as i've talked about many times before any 3d film in full frame is going to look reasonably good depending on if they've got the 50 50 depth you know so full frames always a, is a positive for me because it means you get to see the whole screen taken up with beautiful imagery is this 3d film 50 50 depth and pop out or is it one more than the other this is exactly like House of Wax, but it is in black and white. That's another. That's not a downside because even though House of Wax was in color, this does not need color to be a great film. And I'll explain how I know that because I've seen it, <laughs> and because it does have 50/50 depth and pop out, and it looks just as stunning as House of Wax. I will admit, House of Wax definitely has better use of 3D. This is still a very good close. Uh, representation but house of wax just has that little bit more that you want and i don't know if that's because of color i don't know if that's because of the way it's presented i don't know but but this is a very close second this is along the lines of creature from the black lagoon uh so 50 50 depth of pop out still looks absolutely stunning um very great story so the 3d and the story work hand in hand very well everything that needs to be Shown in 3D. Fucking, I thought that was a bat or something. That was a very loud screech. Um, everything that needs to be presented in 3D is, and everything that just needs to be slightly there in, in like popping out of the screen is. Everything that slightly needs to be further back is. So it works really well. Um, so that's just the 3D film itself. So I'm going to give the film and the 3D itself a five out of five. So I'm going to do them together. So 2D and 3D, five out of five, because they're both absolutely stunning. But that is not, that's all on this disc that I'm talking about. So this film gets to be talked about a little bit more because of also else what it comes with. It does come with two, uh, tw I think they're like 20 minutes. They're like two little uh, Three Stooges short films that were done in 1953 called Spooks and Pardon My Backfire. And these have the exact same 3D that the film has. Full frame, 50-50 depth and pop out. Now, okay, these ones are... I'll use a word that I don't like using. These ones are very gimmicky. 
And by gimmicky, I mean is they have specific scenes shot where they're trying to show you they're using 3D. So like, for example, uh, I think it's Mo in one of them. He has like a little tiny, like a, a carving fork. And like, he does this to the screen, then pulls it back and then it zooms out and he throws it towards the screen. And you see it like flying out. Like it's very gimmicky in that aspect. Or you see when he goes to poke someone in the eyes, you see his hand like do that. So that's what I mean by gimmicky. It's like they're trying to show you that they're using that 3D effect. But it works. It's really well done. So, I mean, that as well is already in incredible. Then, to top it off, not only do you get two 20-minute short uh, Three Stooges black and white films, not only do you get The Mad Magician in 3D, but you get an interview called Three Dimensional Magic, uh, Appreciation of the Mad Magician and the 3D Filmmaking Boom of the 1950s by cinematographer Frank Passingham and archivist Tom Vincent, which is also presented in 3D. The interview is presented in 3D. And that's it's full frame and it's colour. Now, it, uh, people who say they don't like the realism in 3D, yet again, as I say, I do. The whole point of, th the whole point of three dimensions is that it makes it more real than standard 2D viewing. The reason 3D was made was to be more realistic, was to bring movies out into your living room or to suck you into the TV screen to enjoy these movies on a different level. The whole reason it exists and the whole reason why it has a fan base. The interview, they're sitting on a bunch of cinema seats. You can see the cinema room is going really far back and the interviewer is kind of halfway sticking out of your screen while talking to you. It's like he's sitting in front of you telling you his thoughts. And I'd watched all of these one after another. I watched the film, the two Three Stooges and the interview. It was so overwhelming, I was smiling all the way through because it's so much 3D on just one disc. So, this does not just get a 5 out of 5. It doesn't just get a 10 out of 10. This movie, I, I, I don't have enough, I don't know, if I, I might have a way to make enough stars. This gets a 50 out of 50. Because this is just one of the best 3D discs I've ever seen. The fact that it gives you so many different 3D options to look at. Um... I mean, you've got three black and white 3D presentations, and then you've got a colour 3D presentation, all done by the same company, all on the same disc. It's amazing. Now, I'm going to show an Im image here. This is of the Twilight Times edition, and it shows you on the back exactly what that comes with. Whereas, I'll, I'll get a picture of the back of this one, and I'll put the back of this one here, and the back of the Twilight Times one. Now, the Twilight Times one does come with an interview, that I don't, or, or a documentary that I don't think this one has. But this has so much more than the Twilight Times one. So I'm, I'm very grateful I got this. Considering this only has 3,000 copies. And it, it's very limited. Which I know people probably think, oh, 3,000 is a lot. But it's not within a community of people who appreciate 50s films and 50s 3D films at most. I'm definitely proud to own this. And this is one of those 3D films that's never going to leave my collection. So The Mad Magician. Um, even if you don't have a 3D TV, but you just want to see a really good 50s instant price film, I still re recommend picking this up, because, uh, like I said, this is the only way you can get the 3D film, but it's also, I th I'm not sure, I've not really done my research, but I think this is the only way you can get this film at the moment on Blu-ray in the UK, so if you don't get this copy, you won't get this film. Um, I could be wrong, if someone else knows a different copy of it, let me know. But I know the Twilight Times one's out of print, and this is going to be out of print soon as well, so... Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but that's my review on it. Uh, fantastic. And I, I recommend that ba uh, Bad Gastine. I, I, like I said, he, he's the one who mentioned it in the comments about him purchasing it, and told me that it's, it's a 50s Vincent Price 3D film, and I'd never heard of it before. So I wouldn't have known, and I wouldn't have bought it, unless it was in the comments from, from him. And it was such a good price, I, I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't walk away from it. We all know how much I love my 3D, especially when it is this kind of 3D. I cannot walk away from it without going for it. So I, I, thank, I thank him again. Um, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, try and stay safe, everyone. Uh, the, the virus is, is, is still spreading. It's, it's still taking a lot of innocent people. And I'd like it if you all at some point, like tonight from when you're watching this, this video, just take a moment to like give best wishes and prayers to those that we've lost 
because you know we may not know them but these are people's loved ones these are people's children these are people uh, people's like wives husbands fathers mothers you know uh, there's a lot of nhs workers that are also struggling and they're fighting so just take a moment to appreciate what you've got you know, what, what these people are going through and just you know just give them a moment's prayer in your mind if you can um so as i said stay safe take care and i'll see you wonderful wonderful people next time bye, -bye.